Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today we're in the kitchen and I'm going to be making homemade brownies. And it is in my book, Cooking Southern Style with Deep South Homestead. So the deal is, I don't have any more books left. So I'm going to show you the recipe. We're going to talk about it. We're going to mix it up and bake it. And we're going to have some great homemade brownies. Right here. Homemade brownies. We use one stick plus three tablespoons of softened butter, two cups of sugar, one and a third cups of self-rising flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, four eggs, six heaping teaspoons of cocoa. You mix all this together, pour it in a greased 9 by 13 pan. I am mixing it and putting it in a 8 by 8 pan, which is smaller, and it's going to be thicker. I want mine thicker this time. Usually I make real thin brownies, but this is going to be thicker brownies, so we're doing an 8 by 8 We're going to bake at 350, 25 minutes. Uh, for gluten-free, you use gluten-free flour, and remember to add your salt and baking powder, xanthan gum if necessary. Uh, I'm going to be using self-rising flour today. We have our butter back here just melting somewhat. It doesn't have to be hot. It just needs to be soft or melted a little bit, but you don't want it hot. I have a greased 8 by 8 pan because I want my brownies a little thicker today. We've got our mixing bowl. I'm fixing to go get the mixer. And we have cocoa, eggs, vanilla, flour, and our sugar. So we're ready to roll with the brownies. So first off, we're adding our butter. And it doesn't matter what order because you're putting it all in here and going to mix. So the butter, the sugar, the flour. Let's do, let me do the dry ingredients first. So let's do the six of the uh, teaspoons. There's one, and it's got to be heaping, or you're not going to have enough. Two, three, four, five, six. If you don't do heaping teaspoons, then you're not going to have enough chocolate in it. And let's just add one more for good measure, okay? How's that sound? Okay, so now I need my vanilla. No, one teaspoon, so I'm good. One teaspoon. There's really no um, milk or anything in these brownies. Uh, the key to brownies, there's more sugar than there is flour. There's really no milk or anything to make it really wet. This is going to be a gooey substance, and that's what you want for a really, really good homemade brownie. In this recipe, when I get through mixing this part up, if you wanted to add more chips, like chocolate chips or something, to it, or you wanted to add raisins, pecans, almonds, walnuts, anything you wanted to add to your brownies could be added after this. You mix it up first, then add in the extra ingredients. Today we're just making brownies. I'm not adding any nuts or anything into it, just brownies. So we're adding the four eggs. And these, these eggs were raised here at Deep South Homestead. Now, all the other ingredients pretty much were bought ingredients. So we're making regular brownies today. I'm not even making gluten-free. I'm doing this for me. I want a dessert. And I mentioned those homemade brownies the other day. You guys were wanting to know how. This is it. So let's mix them up. So 
break down the sides, run it through one more time, and we'll be ready to put it in the oven. Our bowl and put it in the oven. Brownie mix is ready to go into the oven. This is homemade brownies. You see how brown and beautiful it is. If you want it more chocolatey, simply ask, add more chocolate. If you want to add something on top, you can add it now. Um, we did not add any add anything to it. It is simply a plain brownie mix. Homemade brownies. Let's put it in the oven for about 25 minutes, I believe. Okay, so the brownies are out of the oven, actually out of the oven yesterday. I videoed eating the brownies and lost the clip, so Danny said I wouldn't mind eating it again just to show you. These things look moist and they're gooey, awesome chocolateness. So is chocolateness a word? I don't know, but this is the best homemade brownie recipe ever. If you're looking for a gooey chocolate brownie, not a cake brownie, this is your recipe. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.